Hey, what's going on? JD here. I've got another quick motion tutorial for you. Today, we're gonna learn how to do double exposures. So this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to do a double exposure. So basically taking one set of video, overlaying it on another so that it shows through. It's straightforward, it's simple, and it's not as difficult as you might think. So we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna start a new motion project. I'm gonna import some footage that I had videoed. Uh, Scott from the Path Less traveled in front of a white screen as well as some footage from their video. So we're gonna line those up. We're gonna put Scott on top with the white background here. Now he's probably a little too light for what we want. So what I'm gonna do is go to color and gamma, I'm gonna open that up. And basically we're just gonna darken things up a bit. So I'm gonna drop this down and it's gonna work about there. It's probably dark enough. Now, if I were to do this again, I would probably actually go and get the video footage and make sure that I shoot it a little bit darker, but this will still work for what we're gonna do and just explaining exactly how we do things. So basically, we're gonna get the gamma down, make it a little darker, and then we're gonna go here to properties and we're gonna switch the screen. Now you can see the video underneath from the video is starting to show through. However, the background is probably showing through a little too much so you can see it ghosting there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to color again and then we're gonna pull up levels and we're just basically gonna adjust. So you can see as we move the slider there, we can show you the background a little bit more. And that's not exactly what we wanna do. So we're just gonna play with levels here and we're gonna get it so the white is basically a nice solid color. So that's where we want him darkness wise. I think that's probably pretty good. Now we just wanna get the white so you can't see any of the image showing through. So that's basically the entire technique. So simply enough, you can see all the images coming through and it's not quite showing through in the background. Now there's a little bit, I think there that I can see. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to adjust that just a little bit knock it down, we'll, we'll scrub that back and you can see it's completely gone now. And that's it, it is that simple. So that's how you make a double exposure. And that's how you do a double exposure. It really is that simple. And what you can do is you can take those techniques and apply them to make bigger, better, and more elaborate titles. Until next time, see ya.